Pride Month honors and celebrates LGBTQ advocacy and culture through the years. Prior to the 1980s, it was common to use the phrase gay community. Now we use the acronym LGBTQ+. On June 28, 1969, police raided a popular gay bar in New York City's West Village called the Stonewall Inn. Back then, it was commonplace for the police to arrest and harass just for being LGBTQ. On this particular day, the patrons, staff, and neighboring residents had enough and fought back with the police. Protests and fighting went on for six days and became known as the Stonewall Riots. Their message was clear. Protesters demanded the establishment of places where LGBTQ plus people could go and be open about their sexual orientation without fear of arrest. Among the many leaders that night was Marsha P. Johnson, who is often credited with throwing the first punch at the Stonewall Inn, although this is debated among some. Known as an outspoken advocate for gay rights, she was the first drag queen to go into the Stonewall Inn after they began allowing women and drag queens. Previously, it was just a bar for gay men. Johnson was initially known as Black Marsha, but later decided on the drag queen name Marsha P. Johnson. The initial P stood for pay it no mind, which Johnson would say when questioned about gender. After marching in the 1992 Pride Parade, her body was found in the Hudson River and was ruled a suicide. Friends and members of the community insisted that Johnson was not suicidal and noted that there was a massive wound on the back of Johnson's head. The ruling of death changed throughout the years, and there is a documentary of this remarkable person who I will leave details where to watch in the description. Pride Month is largely credited to Brenda Howard, also known as Mother of Pride. She is the one who organized Gay Pride Week and Christopher Street Liberation Day Parade. It took place one year after the Stonewall Riots. This eventually turned into what we know now as the New York City Pride March and what was the catalyst for many similar parades and celebrations around the world. Sylvia Rivera was an activist and fought for gender rights alongside with Marsha P. Johnson, where they both created STAR, Street Transvestite Action Revolutionaries, to help homeless LGBTQ plus youths. Politician Harvey Milk was the first openly gay elected official in the history of California, and he turned to his designer friend Gilbert Baker to create a powerful symbol for the LGBTQ plus community. Sadly, Milk was assassinated the same year that Baker created the rainbow flag with each color having its own meaning. The original flag consisted of eight colors. Almost immediately, a few months later, it was modified and pink was removed. That color at that time was hard to come by. Then in 1979, the turquoise stripe was removed and the indigo was replaced with the blue, replacing serenity with harmony. There have been other flags representing different groups, but this six color flag is the most recognizable. The Stonewall Inn was declared a historic landmark by the city of New York in 2015. And in 2016, President Obama named it a national monument. While researching the history of Pride Month, I came across something interesting that I was not aware of. Asking someone their sexual preference is offensive because it subtly suggests that who you love is voluntary and you can change at any time. People do not need to have sexual experiences to know their own sexual orientation. In fact, they need not to have any sexual experience at all. So the proper way 
to say it would be sexual orientation. Support LGBTQ plus YouTube creators. I wanted to share a few channels I am subscribed to or were recently recommended to me. There are a lot of other great channels on YouTube, but I only did some smaller channels, basically under 10K subs. Links for all of these channels will be in the description. I'm going to end with this message. Love is love. Thank you for watching.